Hi there, Coach Sage Candy of SageRunning.com here with a quick training talk on some exercises you can do to prevent some common running injuries and aches and pains you get from the sport. And to start off, uh, I'll link to uh, one of Sandy's core and hip routine. At the end of this video, you can see some more elaborate exercises for injury prevention, specific things you could target. But the stem of real, a lot of injuries and problems uh, with running is a repetitive strain injury, right? You're running thousands of steps in a marathon, you're running on Hard surfaces like pavement and, you know, pretty shoes like hokas may help, but the core of some problems come from muscle imbalances. Muscle imbalances that you develop from poor form, poor posture, but also sitting in an office desk or sitting in your car, uh, as well as leg length discrepancies. Your body's not perfectly symmetrical, right? My left foot's about a half size bigger than my right foot. It's also a little stiffer. My left leg's just a tad longer than my right leg, so things aren't exactly symmetrical. Any little kink could cause some aches and pains, and the uh, exercises we're going to target in the video today are going to be things that uh, target kind of the core area, lower back, uh, lumbar spine area, SI joint, common problem, as well as the IT band outside uh, from your hip, basically down, could even hurt around the outside of your knee, IT band, common injury, uh, as well as just trying to prevent uh, things, issues that happen in your lower back and hopefully straighten out your form so you have better hip mobility, better running form, you can move more efficiently, but also reduce that pain, reduce that tightness that comes from a lot of repetitive strain. So let's get started. So the first exercises are going to be some light stretches. Uh, again, I covered some of these basic stretches in my stretching form tutorial, basic stretch routine video uh, that you could find on this channel. Um, but you know, the uh, stretching my hamstrings uh, basically like this, uh, straightforward in that video. Now we're gonna do a variation on that, right? We're gonna cross our right foot over our left foot, keep the feet kind of together, and we're not gonna totally lock our knees, but we're gonna keep that left leg uh, fairly straight. Right leg's gonna have to bend a bit more, and we're gonna reach down and try to stretch, try to touch our toes. Again, I'm not very flexible, but you could really feel the pull more in one leg versus the other. So then you switch sides. And again, I'm doing these stretches on warm muscles. This is after I run, this is after I've warmed up for at least 20 minutes, uh, or after an easy run. And this works, uh, kind of stretches the IT band in a little bit of a different way, uh, as well as the hamstrings. So that's just one variation. Next variation, and you could do this as a dynamic walking drill, uh, is to just step forward, stepping forward with my left foot here, and I'm reaching down with my uh, right hand to touch the ground next to uh, my foot. As I'm doing that, I'm elevating my back, my right leg in the back here, and trying to get it somewhat uh, somewhat parallel to the ground. So it's kind of a walking motion like this. You'd be going down, stretch. I'm keeping the left leg fairly straight. I'm bending it a little because it's pulling pretty tight. And then I'm going to go forward with my right leg down and creating these right angles. I'm not very good at it because I'm not very flexible, but you should really feel the pull. You're going to feel the pull, the hamstring stretch here, uh, but you're also going to feel the pull with the hip flexor in my left leg, right? Getting my left leg back, I'm activating my butt, my glute muscle in the back there as I go forward. I'm also having to balance uh, like this. So then left leg forward, right hand touching the ground, elevating, stretching this hip flexor, activating this glute back here because I'm also trying to keep my torso uh, kind of parallel to the ground somewhat as well. So that's a real, another really good, more dynamic hip flexor stretch. Again, I'll link to Sandy's core and hip routine uh, video. It really targets the hips uh, after at the end of this video. All right, next exercise we're gonna do, uh, I got the foam roller out. This is a pretty high density uh, foam roller. It's uh, circular. Uh, these come in different, different models. Uh, not sponsored by this company, I got it at Boulder Running Company, running store in town, but this works the IT band, right? Typical foam roller. Uh, you could roll on, so you're, I'm laying sideways here, and uh, again, trying to target the outside of the quad. You could also, you know, roll out your quads as well, but putting all my body weight down here, going up to the hip bone, and then rolling all the way across. Could even get up to my kneecap. A lot of times the IT band hurts for a lot of people around. Uh, where it tracks around the kneecap there. But basically just rolling like this and I'll switch sides here so you can see. But very good preventative 
type of exercise. Uh, really good to always try to not have too much tightness in the IT bands. It's a common running injury, uh, so keep it getting too tight and too painful, as well as looking at your shoes, but that's a totally different training tuck. Next stretch is we, we'll get down on the ground here. Um, used to, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one leg, cross it over uh, like this. I'm crossing my right leg over my left leg. Left leg's on the ground straight ahead. I'm gonna kind of hug my knee, hug my knee to my chest, trying to get this leg over. It's gonna stretch the gluteus maximus, uh, your butt, basically. And I'm gonna put my elbow, my left hand in front here. You can actually crack your back here. You're keeping your hips, hips are keep, kept forward. And twist my upper body and shoulders. Use my elbow to pivot on this side of my knee. Twist like this. Then I'm gonna hug my knee a bit. And you should feel the stretch right in there. Stretch out your butt as well as uh, your lower back. Now I'm gonna switch sides. Do the same thing uh, with the left side. Again, you can hold these stretches for 20 seconds or so at least. Uh, slowly ease into it, don't force anything. This final stretch I'm going to do helps a lot of people uh, with the SI joint problems. Again, it's that your lower back creates a lot of pain as well as tight hip flexors. It creates a lot of problems for people, uh, especially if you have to drive or sit at an office desk, poor form. Uh, is basically, I'm going to get in the stance where I'm like stretching my calf. So I got my left leg in front of my right leg here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, I'm going to have my palms facing towards you guys, towards the camera here. and. Uh, Actually, I'm going to switch that around. My right leg in front, left leg back. Uh, and they're kind of in, in line here. Pretty close together though. And I'm going to take, I'm going to have my palms facing you guys. My left hand is going to go in front of my right leg. And I'm going to reach for that outside part of the leg. At the same time, I'm going to try to elevate my right hand here up in the air. And I'm still trying to keep my hips pretty straight forward and pretty straight up. But I'm going to put a lot of stretch and I'm going to rotate my shoulders towards you. I'm rotating my shoulders in twisting action, also stretching uh, this hamstring here as I'm reaching down. And that's going to really target this SI joint area there. Hold that stretch, and I'll show you on the other side. So, uh, left leg in front, right leg's back, kind of like I'm stretching my calf. Again, uh, I'm going to keep my palms towards you guys. Put my right hand this time in front. So, I'm kind of doing a crisscross as I keep this hand up and vertical. Trying to keep the legs locked, kind of have the hips this way, but twisting my shoulders towards you again. And not bending the knees too much, but they're going to have to bend slightly. So I'm stretching like this. Sometimes you even feel the pull in your stomach, your stomach tenses up. But you should feel it in that lower back lumbar region. Uh, I found it helped a lot of people with SI joint pain and problems, lower back problems, as well as stretching the hip flexors all around the back. It's very complex with the hip. Going into your butt basically uh, causes a lot of people problems. So that's just some basic maintenance uh, stretches and exercises you can do. Again, definitely uh, we'll link to Sandy's videos at the end of this video. But uh, thanks so much for subscribing on here. Really appreciate it. Again, you can check out my other stretching routine video as well as more strength building training videos we've got on the way. We've got a free training plan at our website, sagerunning.com. I'll link to it right there. Nine week aerobic base building plan as well as other plans, 5K to ultra marathon. Again, Sandy's video, core routine, hips routine, I'll link to right there. Uh, thanks so much for subscribing, guys, and stay tuned for more VO2 Max Productions.